Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the 50 week four released. It is in game now. Obviously, earlier was the reveal. Now, of course, we do have the official thing. Now, of course, guys, I did tell you I'm a big fan of this week's drop. Definitely got to pick up some players. I'm super, I'm super interested in Vernon Davis. I know he's not the most competitive player for many, but to myself, like I said, I'm a big Vernon Davis fan in real life in Madden. And of course, you guys know you always have that player that's like your Madden roots, right? Like that first Madden you play, like who was that guy? And from when I played, Vernon Davis was kind of that guy in real life and in the game. You know, like he was always super, super glitchy, always that fast tight end that no one. He was like the old Evan Ingram for me. And a tight end which is just super mad and fast and different for everyone and of course you usually could catch and everything better as well and he's a decent height as well but moving on to this guys today's poodle squad shout out if you want a chance to be shouted out like you just like the video of course comment down below poodle squad answer on the noti bell and for today's shout out guys we do have cobb shout out to cobb for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much man for showing support i appreciate you guys for showing so much love on each and every video now if you guys want to pick up these players like i said they're looking super solid if you want them go into mutt reserve down below they will be selling these on the website directly so you want to skip the coin buying process and you want to just use my code and play you can go buy cromarty willis and davis on there directly use code poodle 15 percent off to take advantage everything's discounted even more again like i said but here we go we have vernon davis patrick willis and tono cromarty now before looking at stats guys my initial ratings before looking at like cards and everything comparing i think i like vernon davis the most okay okay let me rephrase non-biased non-biased i think i like patrick willis the most cromarty the second and vernon davis the third my own personal bias i want vernon davis the most willis second and cromarty third but that's just me, right? So here we go. Let's go over. I do have a Good Morning Madden pack. I may even rip a few packs here depending on what I see on there. But let me open up my Good Morning Madden pack. I still hold that hope that I'm going to pull an LTD or a 50 card out of there. Always have that feeling like it could happen. Like I said, I've seen people do it. I'm holding out faith now. I feel like there's, there's a chance I could do it one day and get the banger pull. And we're done. Okay, so we got Tim Harris. Kind of like Patrick Willis. But moving on here. Let's head over to the block. See the cards. But now, will I, will I pick them up? Like I said. I gotta wait for the price to come down. I will not pay that price for them right now. It's just, it's a kind of, it's gonna be absurd how much they'll probably go for off the rip. Let me open up a get a gold real quick. I'm kind of curious if I can pull any heat out of this. Just one? No. No, you know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna take the chance. I'm not even gonna do it today. I swear, if you add up all the get a golds I do that I pull nothing out of, I'd probably, probably rich at this point. Now, if we had pro fantasy packs back in the game, I'd definitely do that, guys. Also, your solos. Make sure you are getting the 50 solos done. If you guys do remember, the 50 solos are out for this week. Make sure you're getting them done in, in, in pursuit of your free player. Make sure you're going to get that done as well. Heading on through and playing them. I mean, I know they're not the most fun solos to play, but of course, you want to be getting them done. You don't want to be missing out on some easy free stuff. And of course, getting your progressions up per season, you know, so on and so forth. Now, moving on to the 50. Let's see if these cards are on the block already. They usually get here pretty fast. People just pull them. And it's a very, you know, it's, it's a very simple process to get these on the block. It's not like an LTD. That's a like crazy... All right, so here we go. Let's go sort by newest. I imagine one of them will be up by now. We got Antonio Cromartie. Oh, we got all of them, I think, right? Oh, no, I don't see I don't see my guy yet, but we'll, go, we'll start with Cromartie. So, oh, that sold out fast. Okay. Whoever just bought that, I feel bad, because that definitely was super expensive. All right, let's start over here. Cromartie, 520K. All right, this is going to be cheap, actually, pretty fast. All right, so Cromartie, 91 speed, 90 excel, 92 agility, 92 jumping, 89 play rec, 80, 92 man, 87 zone, 92 press. Now, of course, this card can be, it's going to be all thresholds. You power can come it up. You have his zone, man, and press well above 90. Uh, zone will be the lowest, but it's still going to be threshold. He's going to be super athletic. And he's six foot two, which is a great cornerback height. Again, and 80 catching. And my and 89 change of direction. Ooh, this card's good. I like this card. Some people weren't exactly too fond of it, but I, I think he's good. Now, the only thing with this card is that I want to pair him up with DRC. Like, I think you got to get both Camardis. That was that speed, height, athleticism combo. is going to be deadly. And, of course, Deion Sanders as well. Let's compare him to Deion real quick. You see how, of course, he stacks up to a Deion Sanders now. Slower than Dion, three less excel than Dion, less agility than Dion, more jumping than Dion. Um, same play rec once you power him up. We got same man coverage, less zone, way more press. Now, here's the thing, Dion on paper looks better, but Kamardi's gonna get zone, man, and press, which is something Dion cannot say that he gets, as well as the height differential as well. Dion's good in his own right, but you're not gonna. The, the, it's the man press meta right now, so Kamardi's great. I think he's really good, personally. Now, moving on to the next guy, which I want to see Vernon Davis. That's what I'm really interested to see right now. Is he up yet? There we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. Compare him, actually. Not going to make much sense there anyways. Let's see. I want to see the behind the card stats. So, 88 speed, 81 strength, 87 catching, 87 catch in traffic, 87 spec, 86 short, 84 medium right running, and 77 run block. Now, I really love the run block. 
It's big. Vernon Davis is going to be able to be in a, in a dual rushing and passing scheme, which is good. Has like that Gronk-esque running ability. Running block, run blocking ability, which not a lot of tight ends have. Six foot three. Now, what do I care about? 90 Excel is really good. 92 jumping is great. Uh, let's see. He's got 89 carrying, which is good as well. The change of direction is low. 82 trucking is actually pretty good for a tight end. Let's see what else we got. We got 86 stiff arm. That's not bad. 80 impact blocking is really good as well. 87 catch and traffic. He's got 76 lead block. He's actually a really good blocker. 85 break tackle. He's going to be great with the ball in his hands. That, that's the thing with him, right? So if you run a scheme, like, I mean, I understand it's the man press meta, so it's going to be super hard to run a guy like Vernon Davis. Like, if you're versus a guy who's man pressing, Vernon Davis may just get clamped. That's, that's probably the issue versus having a guy like Darren Waller. But when it comes to zones, like, tight ends just get open in zones and they just have the ball in their hands. Like, Vernon Davis is going to be that guy. When he has the ball in his hands, he's the best tight end probably. In Madden, in terms of getting the ball in his hands, it could be Darren Waller. It's going to be tough. It really is going to be tough to make the decision here. I mean, if you have the coins, it's going to always be Darren Waller. But if you don't have the coins, and Vernon Davis is the more budgety option, you know, you got to debate how you plan on playing with him, right? And then finally, guys, we do have Patrick Willis, who I definitely have to get my hands on. Uh, Vernon Davis is coming down. I love it. People don't like these cards. They're coming down to price. I definitely want them on my team. Patrick Willis, 92 overall, 89 speed, 91 excel, 83 strength. 90 tackle, 90 play rec, 87 block shed, 90 hit power, 81 zone. Like I said, guys, you don't got to use him. He's going to be able to hold the zone in zone, hit, stop the run, recognize the play, be fast, 90 speed, powered up. Going to be great with six foot one, of course, too, on the taller side. He's great. He's a great, great linebacker. I think he's solid. Let's see what his other intangible stats are. 90 jumping, super great as well. 82 change of direction is not great, but that's why you're not using him. 87 impact block is really good. He's got, let's see, let's see, nothing else really that catches my eye here. A decent power move, honestly, if you ever had him some, for some reason rushing, which you should never have him. I guess the only thing would probably like on a blitz or something or a, du a double nickel A-gap mid blitz probably would be the only reason you could, actually guys, that could be glitchy. A double nickel A-gap blitz with Patrick Willis with that power move. Maybe, maybe that'll help a little bit. I'm not, attack, I'm not exactly too sure, but still the card looks awesome. I really do like the card. Now to get, get to my, get to my rankings, right? Based on the stats of who has to be the best card here, right? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Willis. Willis can be my number one because of course he can do everything. And you got what I rate linebackers on whether or not I have to use them. If I have to, if I have to, okay, there's there, okay, let me hold on. Pause, pause. There's want to use them, must use them, let them roam, right? So there's there's linebackers who have like Devin Queen. Have to use him. If you don't use him, he's not that great by himself. Patrick Willis, you don't want to use him. You had to let him be because you're not going to be able to stop the run and do all the stuff that he's going to be able to do on his own as a computer. And then there's guys like Taylor Mays. You don't have to use him, but you want to because he's that great of a user. I think Patrick Willis falls into the spot where you want to let him roam. You want the computer to take control and let him do what he's got to do. So he's going to be number one. Number two going to be, uh, I guess, Cromarty, right? Because Vernon Davis doesn't hit the threshold. So on a man press meta, he's going to be really locked up at times. I mean, if we, okay, if, if this was like a zone thing, a zone year, and people were doing zone all the time, Vernon Davis is my guy by a long shot. Like, Vernon Davis is my guy right now. He's going to make things. But you got to go Cromartie second and then Vernon Davis, although I really would love to give Vernon Davis the second spot. Nah, but it's going to be tough. So I'm going to go Willis, Cromartie, and Vernon in that order. If you guys want to pick them up, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle, 15% off. Buy them directly. Get the, uh, the cards. Train them up. Get some power up. All of the above. And take advantage. Guys, that's about it for the video. I pretty much covered everything. I will not open packs because quite honestly, they're going pretty cheap already. I see them as already kind of cheap. So I don't really feel the need to go ahead and actually open packs for them because they are super cheap. Hold up. How can, let me, let me filter this out real quick. Actually, no, that's fine. I'll go, I'll go right here. Cromard is already down to 395. Vernon Davis is around 380. I'm going to let these cards keep dropping down. I'll pick them up. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Want to join the pool squad? Comment down below. Like the video. Turn the notification bell. I'm out. Peace.